היי גייז! Welcome to the first part of a series of videos on the geodesics modules for VCV Rack. There are four modules, each one is unique in its own way, and today we will take a closer look at brains, a colliding sample and hold module, and let's start. Okay, so here it is, the brains. Already you can see that this module is not your regular sample and hold unit. It has some really nice features like different colored noise generators, inverted outputs, colliding triggers and more. There are actually two groups of seven sample and hold units, and each group has its own dedicated trigger input. Now if you're not familiar with what a sample and hold is, I will put a link in the description to the video I made about sample and hold, but in general a sample and hold unit will sample a signal, usually some sort of noise, every time it receives a trigger, and it will hold this sample, this voltage, until the next incoming trigger. Now you can see that both sections are identical, and there is a trigger input in the middle, and we have also 7 inputs and 7 outputs. To the inputs we can send the signals we want the sample and hold to sample from, and from the outputs we will get a sampled voltage, or when no trigger is connected to the trigger input, we will get noise from the different noise generators. If there is nothing connected to the signal input, brains will use its own internal noise generators, and you can see the different colors around the different outputs, which indicate a different kind of noise generators. We have one white noise generator, two blue noise generators, two red noise generators, and two pink noise generators. Now you can see the differences between the noise types on the spectrum analyzer, and in general what it means is that with each noise type, brains has different range of frequencies to sample from, which means differences in the range of voltage coming out of it, what will lead to different modulation possibilities. The phase of the signals coming out from the outputs to the left of the white noise generator is inverted, which means that while the voltage coming out of the normal output goes up, for example, the voltage coming out of the inverted output goes down, and with this we can create nice harmonies when using for modulating pitch, or we can use it for counter-modulating different parameters like cutoff point of a filter, delay time, and so on. So here we have brains modulating the pitch of two FM operators from BOG Audio. The clock is triggering the upper section of brains, and also both oscillators, and two outputs, one normal and one inverted, are modulating the pitch of the oscillators through the dual attenuator in order to control the range of the modulation, and through the quantizer from JW modules. You can hear and see also on the scope that when the pitch of one oscillator is going up, the pitch of the second oscillator is going down, what creates this nice harmonious melody. Two more outputs of brains, again one normal and one inverted, are modulating the feedback amount of the oscillators, and again when the feedback amount of one oscillator is going up, the feedback amount of the second one is going down, what adds a lot of variation in the sound and gives the patch an organic feel. A really nice feature of brains are the colliding outputs. You can see the dotted lines connecting between the trigger input of one group and the signal input of the other one. When there are two different triggers connected, their sum is triggering both colliding outputs, what creates these nice polyrhythmic changes in rhythm. So here the clock is triggering both trigger inputs of brains, once normal and once delayed by a 16th note. 
One of the colliding outputs is sending random voltage through the fundamental VCA and the quantizer from JW modules to the cutoff point CV input of tangents, which is self-oscillating, so it's actually modulating and controlling its pitch. Another output of brains, a normal one, sends voltage, again through a VCA and a quantizer, to the functional VCO from Squinky Labs, and you can hear how the melody coming from tangents sort of dances on top of the melody coming out of the functional VCO. And again, that's because both clocks are being summed into one, which triggers both colliding outputs of brains. Another really nice feature of brains are the trigger bypass buttons and their dedicated trigger inputs. When one or both of the triggers are bypassed, the noise from the noise generators or the signals connected to the signal inputs will go through to the output, as if no trigger is connected to the trigger inputs. With this you can create variation in sound and in rhythm, or also add some random noise to your patches in unpredictable places. So here we have the topograph from Valley triggering both sections of brains and also all three FM operators. Brains is sending pitch information to two FM operators through the dual attenuverter and two quantizers from JW modules. And while I'll connect the last trigger output of the topograph to the bypass trigger input of the upper section of brains, we will get a rhythmic noise output going to the FM inputs of the oscillators, what will create a nice percussive sound to accompany the melody. Another thing that's happening is that when the trigger is bypassed, the colliding outputs are no more the sum of both triggers because one of them is bypassed, what creates even more interesting rhythms. Okay guys, that was the first part of the Geodesics module series. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and hit the bell. And have a good one.